On Friday, February 19th, around 9 a.m., William Craven received a phone call from Governor Jay Inslee to congratulate him on his recent proclamation, which states that February 20th will be known throughout Washington State as William Craven Day. William Craven was born September 18, 1938, to Ethel Williams Craven and Samuel Lawrence Craven, who were the children of the black pioneers who migrated to Roslyn, Washington around 1888. William has dedicated his life to public service in the community, including acting as sexton for the Roslyn Cemetery, worked as a janitor for the school, served in the Roslyn City Council, and also helped the youth in Kittitas County as a mentor and coach. In 1975, William became the first appointed and elected black mayor in Washington State. From there, he worked on preserving the history of Roslyn and was able to put the numerous ethnically distinct cemeteries in Roslyn on the Washington Register of Historic Places. More well-known um, African Americans of the community, Mrs. Craven, in that photograph, served as a Pioneer Days Queen for a Fourth of July celebration. Her husband, Sam, came in the 20s and was a coal miner and a grave digger. Mrs. Craven's son, William, was our mayor from 1975 to 1980. And when we elected Will as mayor, we didn't realize it, but we were electing the first black mayor in the state of Washington's really? history here in, in Roslyn. And Will's brother, Wes Craven, went on to be a heavyweight Golden Gloves champion in the Seattle area, representing Roslyn in that way. Will is still living here in town as, as well as Wesley and some of the other family members. Will is our vice president here at the Roslyn Museum, so he's still active in the community. The Roslyn community at one time had a 51% African-American population, this pulpit that we're standing by came out of one of their churches in 1902 and, and was the original pulpit. And some of the families have collected some history, which we have in these books and old photographs. So we've, we've got a pretty good history of the African-American influence in Roslyn. Certainly part of the community. Definitely, very definitely part of the community. Even after his role as mayor came to an end, William continued to be active within the community. However, tragedy struck when four firefighters perished in the fire in the Okanagan Forest on July 10, 2001. One of those firefighters was his son, Tom Craven. To honor his son and the three other firefighters, William and his late wife, Virginia Lee Smith Craven, established a memorial area for all four firefighters at the Rosen Cemetery. This site is still open to this day to visit and remember that tragic event. Once the conference call concluded with Governor Inslee, William Craven joined the parade held in his honor along with several members of his family and local firefighters and their vintage fire engine. William Craven will always have a permanent place in the hearts of all Roslyn residents as a wonderful man with great passion, dignity, and love for his community.